So I'm back with the Apollo Twin. I'm going to show you how you could hook this interface up to your iPhone directly with stereo audio this time. So what we're going to need is we're going to turn this on. Now we are going to plug in two inputs. So in this case I have my grand piano and I'm using two mics so I'm going to insert them in channels one and two on the Apollo. Okay so I did that. Now what we need to do is connect a quarter inch to RCA cable from the output of our Apollo Twin. And so that's what that looks like. And now we are going to connect this to the Behringer U-Control interface here. Just like that. Now with this interface, we have our trusted 3-in-1 adapter right here. And that goes in just like that. So what we need to do now is plug our Apollo Twin into our computer to configure some plugins to do some EQ and balancing and find the correct audio level for going live. Now that everything is set up, I'm going to go record. The Apollo is ready. I have the output here and the Behringer here is right on the floor, connected all the way to this phone which I plan to go live on, and you see the adapter, it's charging, everything's ready to go. So this right here is probably the most straightforward setup to get audio out of your Apollo. So that's what we're looking at. As you notice, I have to have this hooked up to my computer as well in order to operate the Apollo. So we'll take a look at the Council app so in any DAW, you have to uh, get your audio level straight. So for this, it's a piano here. I have the two mics right there in ortif position. So let's take a look at where we're at. That looks pretty good. Looks like a good volume level. So as you can see, I needed to um, Make sure it's phantom power, all right, 48 volts, and I push the gain up to this amount. So I already pre-configured where the levels are gonna sit in the live stream. So what you need to do is you need to do a test um, live stream to like Facebook and edit the privacy to only me. So you could see just what you're doing and not your other friends. So set that privacy level and then do a test stream and see if your audio levels are going to work. <clears throat> I generally follow the rule of thumb of uh, where my tracks are hitting. Uh, the average volume level is going to be minus 18 dB FS here. So that's the levels I want to shoot around. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to my main monitor output. So the volume level that this, this interface is putting out here, I'm gonna be working with that. So um, that's how I'm getting levels. And let's do a quick demonstration so you can see how this all sounds. <laughs> 